The root problem that causes most people to be broke isn't necessarily overspending. That topic has been discussed a billion times over. We eat out too much. We buy too many clothes. We upgrade our phones too often. We go on too many vacations. We get it. The root problem is why we're able to consume to excess in the first place. And the answer to that is credit. It's very easy to become broke when the money you spend isn't yours. To begin with. Because any money you do come into, you'll automatically owe to someone. 1. Credit is toxic. You can see broke people have iPhones and cars. They buy what they can't afford to impress people they don't like. In doing this, they either waste their income or collect credit card debts, which keeps them broke. Credit is toxic because it enables money to magically appear out of nowhere, in a way that is accessible to you for monthly payments that seem more affordable than the actual amount you're borrowing. Don't have $20,000 in the bank for a brand new car. It's okay. Just finance it for $300 per month over 72 months. Much easier to stomach spending $300 right away than $20,000 once you finally save it up. Right. 2. Negative image. When we don't have an explanation, we can think that the rich get richer by stomping on the poor. However irrational, these unconscious beliefs influence their action. It acts as an invisible glass wall when they try to make more money. 3. They are controlled by fear. People pretend that fear does not exist and end up in poverty and misery. Other people act in spite of the fear, and never let fear stop you and you end up wealthy and miserable. Real winners embrace the fear, and let it motivate you. 4. Zero financial knowledge. Schools have never taught us about the basics of money management. People are blank when it comes to dealing with debts or investing money. And unfortunately, they never make an effort to learn it on their own. Money is a largely abstract concept to them, in that the amount of money in their bank account is generally irrelevant to most decisions that involve money. If you're buying a car, you'll just make the monthly payments. If you're doing a renovation, you'll take a line of credit out on your house. If you're buying a new outfit, you'll put it on a credit card and sort it out later. It's not so much about what you have, as it is about what you have access to. 5. They slave their lives away for a paycheck. People who work for someone else will never become rich. The only exception is heavy commission salespeople or people able to leverage the massive assets of a large company. The best time to start your own business is to start one while you have another job. 6. Exchange time for money. You limit your income when you only get paid for the hours you work. Poor people don't see this trap. One only gets rich by multiplying their money. This can be done by smart investing in stocks, real estate, Roth era. 7. Zero personal investment. Income is a ladder that you have to climb. The only difference between a general doctor and a heart surgeon is their skills. Most don't increase their earning potential. Don't invest in books, courses, or coaches. In the simplest sense, this is how being broke works. It has absolutely nothing to do with your income or earning power. It has to do with how much of your earnings are payable to your creditors. Which, for a lot of people, is 100%. More than 60% of Americans can't come up with $1,000 on short notice, even for a necessary expense like a car repair, because every single dollar that they earn is spoken for before it even reaches their bank account. If you need something, you pay for it with your money. If you do not have enough money for it, you cannot afford it. It's simple. 